everyone, Delightful Dolls here. Quickly before we get started with the shouts for today, go to Ariana Robles, Dolls in Play, Azoff, Tiana Shrivers, and Veggie Face 7. Thank you so much for commenting. And remember, if you like shout out, all you have to do is come to something nice in my videos. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this cute hoodie crop top. And ba this is based on the poll that I had in my community tab, and everyone wanted me to do this DIY. So to start off, I'm just grabbing a piece of paper and we're gonna start by drawing the pattern for the hoodie. So I grab my doll and I just spread out her arms and start tracing around her. So your pattern should look something like this and the measurements for my pattern is six centimeters wide in the body, two centimeters wide for the sleeves and seven and a half centimeters long from the armpit and then nine and a half centimeters from the top of the shoulder and seven centimeters from the top to bottom of the pattern. Then I mark a line in the middle of the pattern and fold on that line so that it is folded equally in half. And then I pick the side that I think is better and I cut on that. So now you have your pattern. Next, I'm taking some stretchy t-shirt material and on the bad side of that material, you want to trace around your pattern. I'm using a Sharpie similar to the color of my fabric, although unfortunately it did bleed through a little bit. So using something like a pencil or chalk would be better. Once everything was traced around, as you can see, it did bleed through a little bit, but that won't really matter too much. And then I just cut that out. And I repeated that to make a second one. Now placing them good side to good side. I'm going to fold up the bottom edge and I'm gluing it there in place. You could sew it, but I think glue is just a lot easier. And then folding it onto the other side so you can see how much you folded it up so it is equal, if that makes sense. So now you have a nice clean edge. And repeat that for the cuffs of the sleeve. So now they have nice clean edges and now using a needle and thread, I'm going to sew from the bottom side of the hoodie and down the sleeve. Of course, you could also use a sewing machine, which would probably be a lot quicker and nicer, except I didn't have mine set up for this video, so I just did it by hand, which works fine as well. And then I just knotted at the end. And then repeat that same step on the other side. Now before we continue sewing, I mark out where my neckline is going to be and how I want it to look. So now when I sew up the sleeve, I stop right before the neckline that I marked on both sides. So now that I finished sewing, the neckline still has an opening. Now flipping to the back side of the shirt, I cut down the back and flip it inside out. And then place it on the doll to make sure it fits well and glue on some Velcro. So that the top can be removed. And now taking it off the doll and flipping it to the inside, I am going to cut a little bit before the neckline that we marked and then fold over the edges of the neckline to make a nice clean edge. For the neckline. And now for the pockets of the hoodie, I'm marking three centimeters by two centimeters and then one centimeter on both of the sides and drawing a kind of half U shape, if that makes sense. 
And then sketching that out on the bad side of that same fabric and cutting that out. Then I place it where I want on the hoodie and then flip it up so that the bad side is facing up and glue the top part or bottom part from the position I have it at in place. Then I put glue on the sides and the bottom and flip it back down. As you can see I'm doing here. So now we have some working pockets. And if you want that same Puma logo that I did on the other cropped hoodie, I'm just using some acrylic paint and drawing that on. Or painting that on. Of course, you could paint any type of words or logo on the hoodie. I just thought that the Puma logo kind of suited this hoodie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and give it a try yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!